So the Carolina Panthers are coming off of a dominating win against the Arizona Cardinals, who were the top-ranked team in the NFC at the time. And a lot of people are making excuses about Tyler, Kyler Murray being out and DeAndre Hopkins not playing. And I'm really not trying to hear it because the Carolina Panthers have been down in the dumps and against the ropes. But now it seems like they have new life and they make, could be a legit contender and a wide-open NFC. And part of the reason why the Panthers have turned things around this year and so far – has been the consistency from this defense on a dominating week-to-week basis. And the leader and best player on this defense thus far this year has been Shaq Thompson, no other than the OG on the team. And a lot of people are making their reasons why he might be playing better this year, but you can get whatever theory you want to do, whether it's a number change or this, that, or the third. I don't care. But Shaq is playing at an all-pro and Pro Bowl-type level. I don't see too many linebackers in this league playing better football than Shaq Thompson at this point. But that's what we're going to get into this video because I'm going to give you all 22 clips and breakdowns showing you Shaq dominating the Arizona Cardinals in the pass, the run, rushing the passer, all around linebacker play and just show you how good he has been and what he's been doing all year. But before we get into that, let me introduce myself. My name is Aaron Duncan with the Necessary Blunt and Sports Talk. Start off every video by saying, what up, dude? And here on this channel, I give recap and analysis of the NFL. In particular, I show a little extra love to my Carolina Panthers, you dig? So if you want to see more videos that I pretty much drop on every day of the week that ends in a Y, go ahead and subscribe button below and get a video thumbs up. Because when you get that, you're going to get a notification every time I drop videos because I'm going to do more live streams. I'm going to do a podcast, uh, uh, film breakdowns. And when I get to 5,000 subscribers, we're doing a $100 NFL Shop gift card giveaway, so make sure you are subscribed so you stay in the loop when that stuff goes down and get all this Panthers content that comes with it because it's all kind of Panthers news that drops on a day-to-day -day basis, and I'm all over that thing like white on rice. You know what I'm saying? But also, take a little second and give the video a thumbs up because it doesn't cost you a thing, but it really helps my video out in the algorithm. It shows that you are engaging and you actually like the video, and it lets YouTube know to put this video out to more people, the more people that see it, the more we grow the community, the more Panthers fans that watch it, it's all good, man. So get a video, thumbs up. It doesn't cost you a thing. only takes one little second. But hey, let me know down below in the comments, what do you think the biggest reason for the change in upgrading Shaq's play? A lot of people are saying that it was the number change, which is obviously BS. Some people think that he's playing against better players when they added Hassan and Daquan Jones and all these type of people. So let me know down below in the comments what you really could point to the reason why you think Shaq is having such an incredible year. Because like I said, he's playing in a Pro Bowl level. So let me know down below in the comments. But like I said, Shaq Thompson is playing at an all pro level. And I don't see too many linebackers across the league that are playing as well as Shaq. This man already has two sacks, two interceptions on the year, and 51 tackles. And he already missed games, too. He only missed two games. So he's on an incredible pace. And this guy's really taking on a leadership role in this team. You know, he was the little brother between uh, Luke Keekley and Thomas Davis. But it seems like since they retired, he's become that next great Panthers linebacker that they've always been known for. And Shaq's doing it all over the place, and he's really playing so fast. I think just his mental capacity, he's added some weight, and he looks so much faster. But the reason why he looks so much faster is because he knows and recognizing plays. He's diagnosing what's going on, whether it's to run or pass or route combinations at a high, high level, similar to how he used to say see Luke Keekley do. Not saying that he's Luke Keekley, but part of the reason that made Luke great was because he was so smart, he knew what plays were coming, and he also was fast and got to the ball in a hurry. Shaq is trying to do his best impression, and some of the plays he's making, he's looking very Luke Keekley-esque. So I, I want to go ahead and show you guys how he's doing it all around in this video. Now, Shaq really put his linebacker skills to display in this game in all three phases when it comes to the pass, the run, and rushing the passer. This play is just play recognition. I mean, this is against the pass and nothing really too flashy about it. But I just want you to see how fast Shaq Thompson is reading plays and recognizing plays and getting there. I told you he's not Luke Keekley. He's not predicting and calling out plays before they happen. But he's definitely seeing stuff super fast, and that helps him get there early. So it seems like he's playing so much faster, and the game is really slowing down for him. So right here, the Cardinals are going to have a bunch of receivers at the top. Shaq Thompson's right here, this uh, linebacker to the short side of the field. And he's going to recognize his play so quick. Watch how he takes off. He sees the quarterback pull back and look. Shaq is already gone. Shaq was already gone. He was sitting on G, waiting on O. He's already halfway going there. He knows the tendency of the Cardinals are to do quick screens like a college offense. He knew the formation. He knew that he was going to have to get there quick if that play did happen because there was only one corner back down here. So Shaq is already gone. And there he is and runs Rondell Moore out of bounds. Rondell Moore is a 4-3 athlete. He's a rookie and he's small, but he's a 4-3 athlete. And Shaq Thompson is able to chase him down and hold him down to one-yard gain. So watch Shaq right here in the corner of the screen again. Watch how fast he gets out of it. As soon as the quarterback pulls up, 
Ball snap. Quarterback is looking that way, getting ready to wind up, and Shaq sees it. One more frame. The quarterback hadn't even pulled it back fully, and Shaq is already gone. Look, he's already out of there. Already out of there, halfway there. Gets there. He's coming, too, and the guy knows that he's in pursuit, but Shaq has a full head of steam. Pushes him out of bounds for a minimal gain. Good play by Shaq to recognize it and get there in a hurry. And this is another pass play. Shaq right here to the short side of the field again. This time he's going to be in man coverage with the running back. The running back is going to run an angle route. So he's going to angle flat like here, like he's going to the flat, and then boom, pivot across. Shaq used to play a little running back back in his day, so he's good at diagnosing and knowing tendencies and things that these guys try to do. And especially getting a lot of practice against the best man coverage running back in the league, I mean, Christian McCaffrey. This guy, Shaq, has got plenty of practice going against these type of routes, so he's fully prepared for it. So watch how he does. He comes down to the line of scrimmage and takes away the airspace. When you come down to the line and meet the guy, you to take away his options. And he recognizes the running back is really not busted full speed. He knows that he's coming back inside. Look, Shaq's, he's not biting on that hard, that hard fake. Goes in there, boom, breaks it up. You get a better look from the other angle to see how quick Shaq gets there and get that hand in there. Here's Shaq right here, lined up with this guy man on man. He's shadowing up, mirroring him. Look, he's literally in the direct line with him, mirroring him. He sorts through the trash because this guy tried to rub against him. Running back pivots. Shaq's there to break. <laughs> Shaq's there to break it up, gets that hand in there. Let's go back one more time. Shaq pivots, mirrors him. Look, look at that hand. Look at Shaq's hand. Put Without interfering, he plays through the man and gets to the ball, breaks it up. Hand swipe. No, sir. Good play by Shaq. Oh, you better best believe that Shaq is not just guarding running backs. He's guarding tight ends and all kind of stuff and recognizing those plays too. He's on this short side of the field right here. There's twin set. This guy's going to come down in motion. This is the tight end, Zach Ertz. What they're going to run is a smash combination with uh, what offenses like to call it. The way smash works, you get a corner route, and then you get a, a hitch route underneath. What happens is you're going to put the corner in the bind. If the corner comes up on his hitch route right in front of him, the quarterback's going to throw the corner route. If the quarter, cornerback sinks back on that corner because he's looking at this guy go deep, he's going to throw it short. But Shaq's going to be inside, and he's going to recognize this, this play combination because he's probably seen it on film. He knows this is a combination that NFL offenses like to use. He bumps down because of the motion. He almost runs the route. Look, he's breaking on that. The ball is just not taking off. This guy's barely out of his break. Let me go back one little small frame and show you how quick Shaq gets out. Look, Shaq is already taking off. This guy hasn't even fully turned around. The ball is coming. Because he's trying to throw it and anticipate, but Shaq's anticipating it also. Look how fast Shaq breaks on this ball. Almost gets a pick six, man. He's pissed off that he missed it. And so, <laughs> so is Keith Taylor, too. But you get a better look right here just to see Shaq's eyes, see how quick he breaks. He's reading the quarterback. He sits, 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 reads the quarterback. But look at him. He's gone. He saw the ball gone. He's already out of there. Almost gets the pick six. That would have busted this game wide open even more than it really should have been. But this point in the game is third and long. The, the, the Cardinals are just desperate. They're desperate. So they're going to try to trick play. Shaq Thompson is right here to the short side of the field again. And what you're going to see from him is that he's going to try to play the, a trick play, but he's going to hustle and use his speed to get all the way across the field and make this play. He easily probably ran about 50 or 60 yards on this play total, just with counting sideline to sideline and distance covered. So Shaq is pretty deep. He sees that. He's coming fast because, look, all these linemen and just one receiver, that's not good. Shaq needs to get there. But he sees the throwback also. He's sending it on film. Shaq takes off. He's hustling, hustling, gets through the trash. Boom. It cleans up James Conner for a hard hit to force a fourth down. My Lord. Let's look at it from a different angle. You get a good look at Shaq right here. He's going, chasing, chasing, chasing. Sees the ball go out. He's out of there. He's hustling, hustling. He's coming. He's coming. Boom. Knocks him out. Good God almighty. Shaq Thompson is playing like a man with his head on fire. Well, let's take a look at Shaq in the running game now. Full disclosure, he does not make the tackle on this play, but the way that he gets there in a hurry and his technique to get there and almost make the play is just so beautiful. It's just a microcosm of how he's playing. So let's watch here. The, the, the card is going to motion the guy over, have all this bunch to kind of out leverage this team. They're going to try to pull the guard and toss it to the running back. But Shaq Thompson, he had other plans. Shaq sees it. Look, the ball is snapped, and he sees that toss open it up. Shaq is already full speed, butt naked, wide open, running to the play. He's trying to get through. He thought about coming through this to try to shoot this gap because look at all this trash. There's one, two, three, four, five Cardinals, and only three or maybe four Panthers in the area plus a running back. 
Uh, if I'm a Cardinals fan, I like the numbers so far. But Shaq Thompson is not going to have any fear. He's going to take on the block with half a man. When I say half a man, that means you leave that outside arm free. You don't go chest to chest and put two arms up with a lineman that's bigger than you. You attack him, bring the hit, hit him with your shoulder, leave one arm free. That way he can't get a full target to block you and get hands on you. You also give yourself leverage because if the running back comes out here, you can get off the block and go get him. But if he's squared up, the lineman can do what he wants with you when he has both hands on you. Shaq's going to attack half the man with force, almost make the play, but still forces him out for a minimal gain. We'll see it from another different angle to get a better view, obviously. So watch how Shaq gets out of this. Watch how fast he takes off. Boom, he's gone. Boom, he takes half the man, forces him out. Let me run it back one more time. Boom, half the man. Look at that arm. Half the man, attack half the man, attack half the man. I'm going to keep saying it because it's such a huge technique for linebackers that it, this is textbook. It doesn't get more better than this. With the arm free, Shaq is able to make a play, push them out of bounds for a minimal gain. Great <laughs> great play by Shaq in the run game. Another reason that the Shaq has been playing so much better this year also is because the acquisition of Daquan Jones to pair him with Derrick Brown. But the way these works is these guys are so big and strong, they're able to take double teams and keep double teams. A lot of times NFL teams like the combo block and double team and push these linemen into the laps of these linebackers. That way it makes the blocks easier. They don't have to worry about chasing these guys around. They'll just drive a defender back into their lap to allow them to not make plays in the running game. But Daquan Jones is super strong. He doesn't get moved that easy by these double teams and allows Shaq to run free sideline to sideline. This is a textbook play example of it. Daquan Jones is going to get double teamed here, but Shaq is really pretty much going to sit there. He can sit here because he knows Daquan is not going to get pushed back in his lap, and the play ends up coming to Shaq because he just does his job. He has a certain gap. He doesn't just run to the ball. He stays in his gap, waits for the play to commit, and then he goes. So he's able to do that because Daquan here. Boom, boom, boom. Shaq's just waiting it out, waiting it out, waiting it out, waiting it out. Boom. Gets in there and makes the play. It brings him down. Great play by Shaq. You'll be able to see it from a different angle a little bit better. And I'll show you Daquan Jones getting double teamed. Boom. Daquan Jones getting double teamed. But look, he's not getting blown off. Derrick Brown's getting double teamed. He's not getting blown off yet. Look at another frame. Derrick Brown's getting pushed backwards. But look, Daquan's not moving. Like I said, this is the difference between holding your spot and not. But Derrick Brown still creating a double team because he's still big. As long as he's taking up blockers, he's doing his job. You do not want him to get pushed back in the shack, but as long as he's taking up blockers, he's doing his job. Daquan's taking up blockers, but he's holding it down too. He's the anchor to that line. Shaq's just sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. Wait, boom. Making the play. Making the play. Let's run it back one more time. Because these guys are supposed to put double team and push back here. These guys are supposed to double team and push back into Shaq. Whoever comes free goes get Shaq, depending on what side Shaq commits to. But Shaq stays patient because he can. He doesn't worry about a blocker on him right away because these guys are still trying to they're trying to push him back. They have a job to push him back into Shaq's lap, but they can't move him. Shaq's able to sit there, boom, bring the hit, get low, make a play. Good job by Shaq. Good job by Daquan. Good, good job by Derek. In the same way that other people do things so Shaq can make plays, Shaq is an unwilling, a willing and unselfish player. He's able to do the same thing here. The Cardinals are going to pull two linemen up in the hole, and Shaq sees it. The object of it is to kick out one block, and the other got to lead up in the hole to block Shaq and then to make the play. What Shaq is going to do, he's going to recognize it so quick, get downhill, bring the boom to that lineman himself, and create an alley for Jeremy Chin to come in and make the play. Jeremy Chin doesn't make the play, but it was that's how it was supposed to work out. Look, Shaq's coming. He recognizes Look how fast he's gone. The running back doesn't even have the ball. Shaq is, like, literally booking it. He brings it, boom, doesn't lose any force. He doesn't slow down once the contact comes. He, he balls up from it. Boom, hits it, and look at it. He shocks this guy. This guy's not moving back. Look, he shot, he's taking that hit. Look at him. That probably hurt. That might knock the wind out of him. Look at him. His back is rolled up. He's not looking strong. He's not driving Shaq back. Shaq brought the boom to him and made the alley small. Jeremy Chen's supposed to come up, but he ended up getting blocked and didn't make the play. But you'll see that Shaq brought it. He was like, hey, man, look, he's going to talk to Jeremy. He's like reaching out, talking to him. Like, hey, look, I took on that block so you can make the play, man. Make the play next time, man. You good? Dap them up. Watch it from a different angle. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This guy's going to pull, pull. This guy's going to kick out. And this guy's going to lead in for Shaq. But Shaq brings the boom force. You can either be the hammer 
or you can be the nail. That's how it is in in, uh, in, in football. You know what I'm saying? There's no in-between. You can be the hammer or you can be the nail. And Shaq is definitely the hammer on this play. Look, and Jeremy Chin's right behind him. Jeremy Chin is supposed to come down into this hole that Shaq made for him. But Jeremy sees this block coming. He doesn't want to get cracked. He doesn't come hard enough and trust and trust that Shaq's going to be able to do this. But Shaq, boom, does it. The hole is not that big. But if Jeremy Chin filled that alley and was patient like he was supposed to, he could have made that play. But he doesn't, but it's all good. And Shaq talking to him, look. He's like, hey, bro, I set that up for you, man. Knock him out next time. <laughs> good play. And last but not least, the play that you saw is Shaq in the pass rush game. Now, he has two sacks on the season. But this is a ridiculous rush. He just uses his instinct, his speed, and his explosiveness and his awareness to time this snap up perfectly, come clean, and get there in a hurry. Times it up, comes free, boom. That put Colt McCoy out of the game. Shaq stunting on him. Let's get you from a different angle to see how good Shaq timed it up because this guy doesn't even see it coming. Look, Shaq times it up. He comes perfectly clean. He's coming, he's coming so fast. Look at this. The, 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 the quarterback hadn't even fully turned around to give the ball off to it. The running back sees the coming, but he can't do nothing about it either. It's play action. He tries to help block, but it's not enough. Shaq's able to get to him and stun on him a little bit with the little two-arm point. But let's go back one more time. See how perfect he times it up. Times it up. This guy just didn't even know Shaq was coming. He had his mind made up to block Derrick Brown because Shaq timed it up so perfect. But look, he's about to turn his head because he saw Shaq go by in a flash. Like, what the heck was that? But, sir, it's too late. Look, he looks back, and look, he knows he messed up. That's the face of somebody that know he messed up. You put your quarter, that's how you get your quarterback hurt, and that's exactly what happened. Good play by Shaq. But as you can see, Shaq Thompson is just all over the place in this Arizona game in particular against an offense that does a lot of things. Clearly, he saw something in them that he knew on film, and he was just a half a step faster than everybody else on the defense, which is why it seemed like he was making all kind of plays in this game. And he's been doing this all year, though. This is not just a one-game thing or just whatever. This is He's been trending this way. He always had the athleticism, the offensive background, to be smart enough to be able to diagnose what offenses can do. And he seems to be putting it together now that he has a good teammate like Jermaine Carter beside him that he can trust versus a guy like Tahir Whitehead that he struggled to be beside last year who clearly didn't know what he was doing at that point. But like I said, let me know down below in the comments, what do you think the biggest reason for Shaq's turnaround from earlier in the years of his career to him having such a dominant year thus far and playing at an all-pro and pro bowl caliber year? Let me know down below in the comments. But without further ado, you guys make sure you are subscribed to the channel on Necessary Bluntness Sports Talk. I got plenty of content coming for the Panthers and the NFL. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.